Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. A minute or so ago, a user in the chat room asked Office 2003 versus 2007. The difference between the two, by and large, beyond version number, happens to be the new interface that Microsoft has developed, commonly known as the ribbon, and that would be a, a series of icons at the top of an Office application that's been updated that replaces the traditional menuing system. because. The problem with older versions of Office, or a lot of applications, is that these features, these very powerful uh, um, tools that are in these programs are buried in menus and most people don't see them. Well, Microsoft's idea behind uh, instituting this uh, new user interface and experience was to make it easier for people to discover the features when they actually were, were looking for them. Of course, they've done other things beyond just uh, instituting the ribbon, uh, but that's the big difference between Office 2003 and 2007 except for the one that sticks out like a sore thumb, Outlook 2003 versus Outlook 2007. Outlook 2003 and 2002 sucked. Uh, I, I could never recommend them at all in any capacity. I, I was using Outlook 2000 for years up until they released Out Outlook 2007 recently, and then I made the upgrade just because the speed differences weren't as bad as they were with uh, 2002 and 2003. But the way most people use Office applications, uh, they're not really looking for those advanced features, or if they do, um, it's not all that often. Unless, of course, they're you know really hardcore word processing users, or uh, let's say really really deep into spreadsheets. Most people just type, 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 click save, and that's it. That's all they're looking for. Um, and in that case, the difference between 2003 and 2007 is well negligible at best. If you don't have a version of Office and you want to have the Office suite. Uh, then yeah, but try to find the cheapest price for Office 2007. If you already have a version of Office and it's it's just fine and nothing's broken, don't upgrade. It's there's no reason to, especially because it's so expensive. Oh God, it's so expensive, especially when compared to applications that work just as well for the most part on the web um, that you can get to. Google Docs and spreadsheets works just fine and they'll be um, creating a PowerPoint or I guess a, a presentation layer to that. Uh, and then of course with newer versions of Firefox, Google just released, I think it works with Internet Explorer too, they just announced a tool that will allow you to interface with applications offline. So you can deal with web apps if they call upon this API that Google's working on. I think they're calling it Google Gears. And the idea is, is that you could work with a, a, a website offline just as easily as you were online. And it's not exactly the online offline mode that you might remember with your web browser years ago when you know people were still stuck on dial-up. If anybody is, I apologize deeply. Uh, but you know what I'm saying is that there are free applications and other ways of doing word processing and spreadsheets and presentations that you can access online or download. Someone's mentioning uh, open source like uh, openoffice.org the issue with OpenOffice, by and large, isn't compatibility, it's largely speed, and that's my primary complaint with OpenOffice. And, uh, but that being said, you know, hey, you, know, you don't have to pay for it, and it works just as well. There are plenty of places and, and things that you can, uh, places to go and things that you can do uh, to accomplish what you want to accomplish, writing documents, doing spreadsheets, presentations, without necessarily going through uh, Microsoft. Microsoft owns the market in terms of Office today. Office applications, most people have branded in their heads Word, Excel, PowerPoint. It won't be that way forever, if not much longer. Who knows? So the big difference, you know, it, it, it all depends on what you want to do with your Office applications and if you have the money to spend. And if you don't, eh, don't, don't feel bad. It's, it's, I don't think the difference between older versions of Office and today's Office are really going to impact a lot of people out there. That's just my opinion.